Welcome to Wrestling for a Cause. And tonight we are supporting a very, very worthy cause. It's a cause called Dream Factory. Now, if you guys aren't aware of what Dream Factory is all about, what Dream Factory does is they grant wishes to children who have had life-altering medical conditions. So, lots of really great work. Now, at this time, I'd like to bring out our organizer for this evening. He's done a ton of work to make sure that all of this has been possible. So, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Strong Style, Raw Startup! Gibby, there comes Canadian Strong Style Rob Sardom, the guy who organized this event. And boy, what an event it is. We've got a packed house here tonight. Besides just his uh, Canadian Strong Style hat, Rob wears, wears many, many hats. And we're going to see one of them right away here, Chris. Yes, we are. Thank you, Winnipeg! It's truly an honor to be able to come out and support a great cause like Dream Factory. Business just picked up here, Chris. Yes, it did. Rob, I don't think Rob was done. And here we go, time Boy, this young guy might be biting off more than he can chew with a veteran like Rob Stardom. I would hope that Tyler Rose did his history on a mat like you Rob Stardom before the challenge was issued. Rob Stardom has the, the crowd in the palm of his hand, and it's time to ring this bell. So what are we gonna look for here, Chris? Are we looking, is Rob gonna take control right out of the bat? Is Strong Style gonna come right out? Is he gonna wear him down with technical skills? Ground the young Tyler Rose? Well, the, the thing is, Rob Stardom can start out any way he wants. He's got that veteran pedigree. I haven't seen a lot of Tyler Rose before, but if I'm him, I wanna start out hot and heavy and fast. I don't want Rob Stardom to slow down the pace because that's when Rob Stardom is very dangerous. When he slowed down the pace, he knows a lot of holds. He knows a lot of ways to hurt a guy. I totally agree, Chris. He's going to have to hit him hard, hit him fast, and if Rob gets his hands on him, there's going to be an issue. Let's see what happens here. Rob Stardom has the crowd in the palm of his hands here. Lock up. Every ragged. Good rag, thank you though. You did. There you go. Take Rob Stardom's got him down to the mat. Oh. All over by Rose. Yeah. Rob Stardom reverses that one. Oh, and he's got an arm ringer. Back and forth. Oh, a disrespect from the young Tyler Rose. Yeah, that's not going to go very far in a match like this. Rob, Rob has a memory of an elephant, and that will be banked. Yeah. Uh, 
I understand the industry, but I think Tyler Rose is spending too much time getting a reaction. Too much John around, not enough wrestling. I don't know, this would be my approach to Rob Stardom. Yeah, get under his skin. Yeah. It might not be a bad idea. Rob's nine steps ahead of his opponents at all times. And you can hear that back here at the very back of the venue. He will call that a trifecta. We're here oh. at the count. Well, well now. Rob Stardom turning back the clock with a little speed there. Oh, I tell ya. Hard hitting. Oh, reversal, oh. back, oh, oh, oh. Uh oh It's like a double or a triple reversal here. Oh, and Rob Sardom hits him with a ham bone across the jaw. Another one. I'm telling you, if you've ever been on receiving end of one of those forearms, you can understand why they call him Strong Side. And, and, and I have been, and I saw stars. Oh. No, no pun intended. Quick neck breaker from Rose once again. Stardom in control, whip into the buckle. Here we go. Oh, Stardom might be taking a bit too much time. Oh. And he was. Now Rose has to capitalize. Yeah. He needs to not give him a chance to breathe. Choking him on the ropes. He's got a count of five here. And he breaks it at four and a half. See, he knows. He's using every bit of that five count. Absolutely, but then once again, getting into the arguments with the referee, focus on Rob Sardom. Cut off the ring. Oh, there, this is where oh. Todd Bullet comes into the factor here. Yeah. Todd Bullet, the, uh, the manager of Tyler Rose, the mouthpiece of Tyler Rose, coming into play there while Tyler Rose had the referee. Todd uh, Bullet called out from underneath the nearest rock to be here tonight. Yeah. There he goes. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So now, oh. an unsuccessful chop. Now you're going to hear it. Oh. Yeah. Those are those patented overhand chops from Rob Sardin. There we go. The crowd loving it. Oh, knife edge chop coming up. Oh. If you've never experienced a chop, it cuts off your airways, it collapses your chest, it puts you in a daze. Oh, slopes. I mean, although Tyler Rose is on the receiving end of some chops right now, I think he's handled himself pretty well. I, I, I think he's almost in a coastal state at this time, Chris. This is not this is not good for him now. Uh oh, listen to this. Oh, oh! Heavy kick to the back. Oh, and Rob Sardin picking him up, gets a jawbreaker from Tyler Rose, and now Tyler Rose has a chance now to take over this match. And he hits him with a DDT, and he planted him there. Uh, I'm not sure why he didn't go for the pin, but kick to the side of Rob Sardin's head. Here's the pin. This might be it. It's a two count. This is false. Now, that was it. Oh, Starham almost, almost in his whereabouts where he is. Are we going to see a super flexor? Take it back to the days of Cowboy Bob Morton now. Starham perched on the second rope. Oh, oh, he's able to avert it. Rose worked hard to avert it there. Now he's up on the top rope and he doesn't have a lot of real estate there. Oh, and Stardom got his knees up. Stardom got his knees up. Tyler Rose is going for a splash. Stardom got his knees up. This is an opportunity now for Canadian strong style Rob Stardom. That fire, oh, the kill button has been pressed, folks. Oh, Rob Stardom oh. building up the steam. Oh, and the kick across the face on young Tyler Rose. This might be it. 
start him now. He smells the blood in the water, Chris. Yeah, Tyler Rose is walking. Brain Buster! Brain Buster! Pat. There it is! Rob Stardom patented Brain Buster. And that'll do it. What a way to start an amazing evening, Chris! <laughs> Boy, young Tyler Rose was real good there, but Canadian strong style Rob Stardom is a veteran for a reason, Gibby Guerrero. Not Daddy Collectibles. Follow us online at notdaddycollectibles.com, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Spotify. We have weekly shows on new comic books, indie wrestling, and we also sell independent comic books. Sanchez does not want any of the applause of the people. He does not care. No, he doesn't. He's well traveled. He's seated, done it all. Jay Rocky looking in pretty good shape for this match. We'll see what happens. underway here. He's, uh, AJ's been known to throw a zinger out from time to time. Yeah. AJ Sanchez is quick in more than one way, mentally and in the ring. Absolutely. He, he's physical and mental presence at all times. Common arm ringer there and AJ goes to the ropes, breaks it. Referee Carlos getting right in there. It's interesting to see how Jay Rockby is going to uh, approach here. Color and elbow. Hey, come on! Takes it into the arm. That's the way you want to go with AJ. You want to try to do, do those those moves where you hook him up because you're not going to outpower this man. Absolutely. You uh, test in the water. Stick a toe in first. Yep. Now you see the classic chain wrestling. Jay Rockby. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there, that's the, what you need to do. The agility from Jay Rockby, and there he goes right to the ropes to break the hole. That's a veteran move. Ring presence is phenomenal when we were talking about AJ Sanchez. Too much energy into the ref here. That's cheating. Tell him to stop pulling my hair. AJ Sanchez spending a little bit too much time talking with the referee and a little less time with his opponent. It might be a mistake in the end. You know, I don't think you want to look past a young man like Jay Rockby. I don't think that's the wise decision when you got a referee and the fan cheering on a referee. Here we go. Color down the ball. Oh, go. He's got a, he's got a wrist, wrist, waist lock and he can't even lock it on. AJ Sanchez is such a big fella. Big reversal in there. That's a waist lock. Oh, drop cold. Now, Jay Rockby capitalized. The adulation from the crowd is fantastic. Oh, once again, Chris, AJ is distracted by the referee. Get out of my way! Hey, I'm right here. Right here, let's go. Come on. Even Jay Rockney is saying, hey, why don't you fight me instead of the referee? 
get in my now, way one more time. Now, AJ, I don't know what his... The referee's game plan is here. The referee is not going to oh, stand what? for that. Oh, the referee took his shirt off. What is happening? What is going on here? The referee's got his shirt off, and he wants to fight AJ. Everybody wants to fight AJ Sanchez tonight. 20 plus years in the business, Chris. I've never what seen What is this. happening here? They're switching refs. Ring the bell. All right, we've got a new match here. Hold on, on the ref. So, what is happening here? I have no idea. I've never seen. Whoa. Referee Carlos, one, two. Look at this. Have you ever seen such a thing, Chris? Do you believe in miracles? Oh, wow. I can take that off my bucket list. I'm telling you. AJ is saying this was not a sanctioned match. This should not count. Well, what's going on now? Arm ringer. Oh, they're switching, and now the match goes back to the regular match. I haven't seen anything like this before. I talk very often on last words, Chris. This might be one of those rare occasions. Into the corner, half full of locks. Now, when you're AJ Sanchez, oh. having just been pinned by a referee, does that get in your head a little bit? For the typical wrestler, I'd like to say yes, Chris. I think AJ can reset and refocus quickly, and I think we're seeing examples of that right yes, now. I think so. And Jay Rock, me being a part of that little fiasco there, duck under. Oh, oh. Another oh. big shot from Jay Rock, me. Stay with him, Jay. Jay Rock. Jay Rappi's trying to get the crowd behind him. Those are sharp knife edge chops. Boy, oh boy. And if you notice, AJ's not staying flat and he's moving away from the situation. Whip in, reversal, hard into the buckle. Oh. Hard chest to the turnbuckle. And now there's the crusher. That's why they call him the crusher. If you've ever had an oak tree fall on you, kick out two. AJ taking his time here. He should be right on top of the young upstart. Taking him down. Got him rear chin lock. Give rear up. chin lock. Oh. Here you got 300 plus pounds no. on top of you, cutting off your airways. This might be it for Jay Rocky. The crowd getting behind him though, working to his feet here. Oh. Mr. Sanchez might require some dental work after this match. And that's smart. And AJ smartly goes right back to that. And yeah. there we go. Jay Rockby. Maybe this is a learning curve for AJ. Don't try to grab that rear chin lock. He's coming into the corner. Big close line. Roll under with a little razzle dazzle. Back elbow. Yeah. Big splash. Duck under. Oh, oh. Yeah, head scissors takedown. Stay on, stay on. And here we go. Oh. Size 14 boot right into the mush. And this is it here. This has got to be it. Uh, oh, AJ tries to use the bottom rope. Referee Carlos has got his head on a swivel. He saw that. That was the animosity. Going to distract whether the referee or AJ. Oh, here we got him back to it again. J Rock me trying to fire up. AJ just taking his time. He knows he's got this in the bag in his mind, but I wouldn't take it. To, uh, I wouldn't call home about a victory right away. Well, you don't want to count those chickens before they're hot. Whip in. Big back elbow by Rock me. Daggers over to the center of the ring. Oh! Sit down, powerbomb. And that is it.
Misfit Mission Collectibles. Open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Every Saturday and Sunday inside the Malby Flea Market. 421 Malby Avenue East, Winnipeg, Manitoba. If you can't shop in person, you can shop online at www.misfitmission.ca. Use code STARDOM and save 10% now. That's code STARDOM, all in capitals, to save 10% off your order. Tremendous shape. He has been working hard for this match, you can tell. And we're underway, Chris. Here we go, Bellman. Collar and elbow. Collar and elbow tie up. You're going to see some of this. Bobby Collins has got him. Reversal by yeah. James. Headlock, Headlock kick down. Yeah, oh, I, like, I like how we're always on the same page, Chris. Head, Head scissors by Bobby Collins. Oh, see, I think they're testing each other out here. Uh, absolutely. They're going to see which strategy, because I, I believe these gentlemen both have multiple strategies that they're willing to approach with. Absolutely. Kyler James cinching up that arm ringer. He's got him held. Bobby Collins trying to find a way to break it here. Yeah, does he got it? I think he does. He's got it. He's got that arm ringer. Toxic Kyler showing that he's got a little bit of a reversal. Yeah. And here we go. I feel like they're almost at a deadlock here. He's got it in tight there. He's got that yeah. deep. He's got the stance. He's got the... Oh, there we go. Bobby Collins has got him. Now he's got him in the reverse. Going for a headlock now. Bobby Collins cinching up that headlock. Tyler's got a couple pounds on him and a couple inches. Roll over, quick pin. There we go. Got to be there. Referee slightly out of out of space there, but we got a one. Because this is very important. It's, it's the difference between a two and a three, Chris. That elbow is tight, really tight. Yep. Toxic Tyler's. Tyler's He's contorting his body to get out, but he's got it. Top wrist lock. Bobby Collins, you can see he's got his other hand locked over there, and that's why. He was, he, he was already thinking about a reversal as soon as that was on. He said, absolutely. You call that Chris spot on. Back and call that. I, I'm actually enjoying the chain wrestling. I'm enjoying the back and forth whip off. Shoulder oh, tackle. Shoulder tackle. Oh. Tyler James always willing to uh, play for the crowd. Duck under, leap over. And a toss. And a drop kick from the 31 year veteran. Bobby Collins now, he's got the fire. He's got the good old belly fire going on. Boy, Gibby, you know what? Back in the day, I used to see you throw drop kicks like that. I don't think you'd be throwing one today, would you? Uh, no. Not, uh, not quite as good as that. Not absolutely. I tell for. For his tenure, Bobby Collins still can hang with the best of them. He can go. Tyler taking that time, regroup outside. He, he's strategy, he's uh, regrouping, he's recalibrating. Next steps, he's catching a breath, recharging the batteries. And it's smart, you got to you, you got the 10 count, you use the 10 count. I was uh, famous for using every second of that 10 count many times in matches. I remember that, Chris, and you have to because it's a good opportunity 
to throw your opponent off the game. Yeah, absolutely. Change the momentum. It's time for you to catch your breath. It's time for your opponent to start overthinking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tyler here. We're at seven. Uh-oh. Bad one time. Bobby Collins has got him by the hair, and he's lifted him right up. Oh. Oh, and cut. Toxic Tyler hangs him up over that top rope. Back in now. I'm right down with those boots now yeah. to Collins. And you're starting to see a switch in his strategy with Toxic Tyler James. Gone is the chain wrestling. Absolutely. And now we're seeing the impact moves. Two count on that. Definitely, Chris. And now Tyler, after the sidewalk slam into a pin attempt. Utilizing the Hang second up. rope. Referee doing the count off, being very generous with his five count, but boy, Toxic Tyler's gonna use it. Oh, and a head drop. A leg drop, rather, across the head of Bobby Collins. That, he'll feel that tomorrow. Absolutely, innovation. Oh, Toxic catching, catching the ropes. Yep. Hooks leg. Pick and, up by Collins on two. And you know that repositioning might have given Collins a little bit of time to catch some breath. Sometimes that's all you need. You just need that split second. Buddy, regain Bobby Collins partner. firing up with those shots in the midsection and one across the jaw, two across the jaw, and three across the jaw. Now, Raul Manicure Beard getting uh, its money's worth, Irish worth, reversal, oh. big back elbow. Bobby Collins back in trouble though. Every time he builds some momentum, talks to Kyler's right there. One, two. She got a two. Tyler James out, he's gonna what he's gonna keep him on the mattress. Oh boy, I don't know. I haven't seen Bobby Collins give up a lot in his career, so I don't know if it's a good idea to try to go for a submission move or not. I, I agree. Rip off. Duck under. Duck under. Duck. Oh. Sunset flip and Bobby Kyler reaching for the ropes. He's got it. Fingers. Fingers, no, he goes down. He got a two. Oh, oh, big, big, big boot and Toxic Tyler falls into the pin. Kick out again. Tyler James has been so close so many times in this matchup. But Bobby Collins, that veteran, he, like you said, he won't give up or quit too easily. Talks are kind of going for the scoop slam here. Is he setting him up? Is he going to go uh, up top here? I think he is. There you go, Max. He's taking a little time, though. Well, he, he says he's got to load it loaded up with this drop, and Bobby Collins puts his foot up right under the jaw. That's veteran move number 231 in your handbook, and Bobby Collins wrote that. Toxic Tyler's on Dream Street now. Big, big clothesline. Another one. And you might as well call it three. Oh, Bobby Collins with a DDT. And, oh, he planted him. He's going to hook the leg and go for the cover? No. Nope. Nope. Bobby Collins says he's going up. He might be going for that patented leg drop. Now, do you think this is a mistake, Chris? Should he capitalize? On the pin when he had the momentum. You know, I always say go for the pin. I always say go for the pin, but his finisher is a top rope leg drop. And now Toxic Tyler using the referee to hang Bobby Collins up on that top rope. We spoke, we spoke about veterans, and there you go. There's a prime example. Referee is admonishing Toxic Tyler now. Big overhand fist. What are we going to see here? Are we going to see that superplex? Toxic Tyler going, he's going right up top. He's trying to get the leverage that Bobby Collins is holding on. You can see that veteran move, like I said, he's holding on to that rope. He's got the brakes on, Chris. Now he's into the sort of Oh, oh headbutt. big headbutt, and Toxic Tyler holding on. And another one. Now this might be the exclamation point here, Chris. Toxic Tyler's in trouble here. the way and Bobby Collins he looked like he jammed his knee he hit the mat real hard there uh, if you lose one of your wheels in a high space match like this uh oh 
Dream time. I think that's it, Chris. He planted him face first. Two, three. Your winner is Toxic Tyler, and there's a reason why he is the Primo's 204 champion. Boy, I'll tell you what. Boy, you look at this ring, you see capital M, you see Jaron Rose, you see Bubbles McFly. It's a real throwback in the ring tonight. I, I'm telling you, when you look at the rest of the yearbook of Winnipeg, um, it's a pretty interesting collection you got here. Um, I don't really know how we're going to call this when you take a guy like Psycho Jaron Banger Rose, Psycho Banger Jaron Rose hasn't been in the ring in a decade. Yeah, you know... He's looking not too bad for a guy that's been out of the ring for so long. Absolutely, got a couple of open newcomers in there. Uh, the Wiley SOB, uh, the American hero, Danny Duggan. Boy, you, you, and you know, Psycho Banger, Je Jaron Rose, he's been around a long time. You should never count a guy like that out. Absolutely not. I think he, he's the right guy to lead these young men into battle here. We're gonna see here the textbook color novel. We got M and Psycho Banger locked up here. I think M's got and about M 150 pounds on Jaron Rose. That's pretty generous. Yes, he's got 150, maybe 200 pounds on Jaron Rose. Jaron Rose with a big clothesline. M moving to the corner. He's had enough already. Yeah, I think that was it. And now the mastermind. And you know what? He's earned his name. Kevin Cannon plays the cerebral game. He plays the long game. He'll get into your mind. He'll peel apart your cerebellum. And here we go. With uh Doug oh, Cave Matt Cole here. Oh, Kevin Cannon teeing off on Cave Matt Cole. He's got a hold of the beard, he's got a hold of the hair, he's got a hold of anything he can get his hands on. Absolutely. Quick tags. This is a good strategy on uh Daddy Duggan's count here. Quick tags in and out. Duggan out. Keep it keep it fresh and Daddy Duggan. Ooh. Going for the cover. Kick out of one. Duggan nonchalant, chewing his bubble gum. And you got to imagine that this was Duggan's plan beforehand when he talked to his guys and said, hey, let's cut the ring in half. Because Danny Duggan, like him, love him, or hate him, he's a ring general. He's one of the most decorated men in wrestling history in Canada, really. Absolutely. And they're going to, so like you said, cut the ring off, suffocate the opponents. Knees to the midsection. And there it is. There's those quick tags in and out. Methodical. Thought out. Slam. Scoop slam. Duggan off the ropes. And a senton. Big senton. That might be it. Kick out by Cole. That was two though. That was a good two. He needs to get a tag. He's in a lot of trouble right now. Clean up. Just looking for that moment to capitalize. And you can look at Jaron Rose on the apron. He looks like a caged animal. He wants to get in there. And you got Smearjet there too. And he's a young up and comer too who wants to make a name for himself. Absolutely. Hungry like a wolf. Back. They're not gonna not gonna let it happen though. We got frequent tags here from Danny Duggan's camp. Taking a little time here though. This might be a trouble. Oh, Kevin Cannon too smart for that. Masterminding at its finest. And with a, I think that was a fist drop going in for the cover. Kick out on two. Boy, that was two and a half if it was anything. Fire back, came back cold, count on count on yeah. Oh, Kevin Cannon with that palm strike up under the chin, that will smart. Absolutely. If you get it in the right position, the juggler totally cutting off your Oh, well, Caveman Cole got out of the way of that one. Kevin Cannon taking too much time. And now, Are we gonna see it? He, he Caveman Cole's trying to get over. 
Kevin Cannon moving his way over, trying to tag in M. Or perhaps Danny Duggan. M's got his hand out. He wants in. And it's M. Cole gets the tag. The smear jet in. Uh-oh. Way close, right? Again. Trying to knock, trying to knock the big guy off his feet. Up Not and that. under. Up and under. Bring it! That's it, we got one. And Kevin Cannon breaking it up. Absolutely, there. And here we go, everybody's jumping into the ring. Everybody's saying, get back. That's my guy. This is when all hell breaks loose. And they've all got him, they're getting ready to. And they've got him up. <laughs> they fire the trio. I think they might have just died, but I think they got the point across. You're going to see a meeting of the minds here. Oh, oh. Oh, at the and M took them both out. That guy's a big truck. He's going to take out anything he hits. It's a small oh. Referee bubbles the fly trying to get some order in here. Danny Duggan south of the border. Did he go on to Young Sanji? Oh, here we go. Danny Duggan hits him with a cruel summer. I pledge allegiance. One, two, three, and that is it. Not Daddy Collectibles. Follow us online at notdaddycollectibles.com. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Spotify. We have weekly shows on new comic books, indie wrestling, and we also sell independent comic books. chicken wing on the way out. He might have had the whole chicken. Yeah. Well, pre-match meal. I'm going to call it Scott, believe it or not, Ripley. And uh, we're on your way here with this. Scott Ripley looking good. Moses Luke. Do you hit him high? Do you hit him low? Boy, if I'm going after Moses Luke, I'm going low. I'm going to take out his wheels. Absolutely. And even then, you're uh, you're uh, climbing quite the hill there. Yeah. Well, if you hope to get him off his feet, that's where you start. But quickly oh. into the corner. Moses Luke showing his power. Clean break by the veteran. Yeah. Now he's showing. He knows the rules. I don't know if he'll stick to them for the duration of this match. He knows them, but his memory's short. Absolutely. Now, I don't know if Scott Ripley's got, you know, shirt, sure, you got a great physique. I don't know if that's where your focus should be right now. Guys, Lining oh. up across from each other. Calling out with Kaya. Again, quickly in the corner. Oh. Moses Luke with a slap to the face. And that's just what I'd expect out of a guy like Moses Luke. 
Yeah, just a little reminder. Just a gentle reminder of who you're in the ring with well, right now. I tell you what, if it was me in the ring, I would have done the same thing. Absolutely. Especially, you know, Moses can chew you up and spit you out quicker than you know what happened. Once again, Duck Under. Scott Ripley, Duck Under, pushes him in the corner. Oh, oh, and big forearm. Big forearm. Oh, Chuck. Oh, right up oh, right oh, that oh, Christmas oh. tree. Boy, Scott Ripley really get laying them. This surprises me. You don't see Moses Luke in trouble like this very often. You're absolutely correct. Big, big, big slash. Going to well again. Oh, he's here we go. He's going for the third here. He might be taking too much time hot dogging. I can't agree with you more. Three no, it worked over. out. Back to the boots and right, right in the breastbone. Yeah, you know, I didn't think we see the big man in trouble so early on, Chris. It's going up. He's laying in those closed fists. Boy, the fly out of position. He can't see the closed fists. He's ignoring the count from Bubbles. And boy, you know, that's a little bit of veteran uh, moves from Chad, or for, for rather from Ripley. Oh. You see the way he was throwing those punches and he's twisting them at the end. You do that to, to break a guy open. Absolutely. It looked like he was uh, maybe trying to get more color than his tights there, Chris. I, I, I like it. I like a vicious streak. Absolutely. I'm actually taken back, Chris, at the uh, position that Moses is in right now. He's in trouble. It's an easy streak, Ripley for the cover. One count. And as I say that, how quickly tides can turn. Back into the corner. I don't know, Irish should resist them. This is a bad idea, you're not gonna whip Big Mo. If you're gonna whip Big Mo, you better be bigger than Big Mo. Absolutely, reversal into the corner. Oh, oh there we go, a big squash. Big Mo moving. And Unreal clothesline, and boy, the rip when Big Mo hit the ropes, the ring just about tipped over. He moved three inches to the north, and I think Chad Ripley's head somewhere in the third row. And you see the crowd, the wind, the oxygen, and the atmosphere just changed because with that big clothesline, you could feel. And Big Mo is firmly in control now. Absolutely. And he might be too big to play possum, but maybe he was playing a little bit there to get the energy out of the young star. Big overhand. And what gets lost in translation with those big overhand chops, Gibby, is when you get chopped like that, the air leaves your body. It's, it's just a natural reaction. You get hit like that, and all the air is gone. Absolutely. A, a sense of discombobulation comes into play. And now mind game. Oh, right, right. Big Mo cuts him off again, a couple chops. Hits him with four in a row. And Scott Ripley is gasping for air. Moses Luke now. Taking his time. Tearing him apart, peeling back the layers. Into the corner. Uh oh. Might be time for the Mo train. Oh, and Mo taking time to mug to the crowd. It's a bad idea. But there it is. Somebody home. Into the turnbuckle. Now Ripley now having an opportunity to turn the tide. To be fair, Ripley had a lot of time there. And Big Mo. Hard hit and out, I tell ya. They call him Big Mo for a reason. He wasn't exactly a four either. Absolutely, a weevil little bit. There it is. Up hook in the leg. Goal. Two Boy, that first. was close. I'm, Ripley I'm, hit a drop kick. It's almost like drop kicking a bread truck. I thank you, Chris, because I'm kind of taken back here. I, uh, I really... I didn't think we'd see Moses Luke in this much dire straits this evening. I'll tell you what, I'm a believer. I'm a believer in Ripley. Uh, he, I, I might buy his t-shirt. I'm telling you, he's up second row. 
He's waiting for Mo to get up. Here it comes. And another drop kick. Missile drop kick off the second. Mo turns over. Can he get can he get Moe's as he turned over? That's half the He battle. can't get Big Mo turned over. That's that 400 plus pounds. <laughs> He's now he turns him over. Hook in the leg. Oh. Mo. The ring veteran Mo's got his foot on the rope. He knows where he is at all times. Absolutely. He's been all. Two count again. Now, Ripley, I, I, I know you're uh, distraught that you didn't get the pin, but you got to stay on the top of the guy like uh, Moses Luke. You just don't get a name like the German Juggernaut for being a nice guy. Yeah, and waiting for him to get up is a bad idea. Absolutely. You want to keep him down. Oh, back. He's got a, got a headlock here. Uh-oh. Moe's trying to pick him up or whips him up. Oh, oh, this is bad news. This is, there it is. That's Big Moe's signature. Now, that's code STARTEM, all in capitals to save 10% off your order. I got something to say, I'm going to show you how this is done. You always got something to say. I've seen both of these guys wrestle before, and you're you're absolutely right. You're, you're gonna see a, a Neapolitan in there. Good, yeah, absolutely good. Good description here. Uh, that, uh, Mark, Mark being very uh, conscious to get the crowd behind him, getting them moving. Referee Carson checking out mean Mark Merrick. And we're underway here, Chris. As they circle around. <laughs> See who's going to take the upper down early on in this one. The future of wrestling circling around with mean Mark Merrick. They cut him off before he gets an advantage, slated in the forearms, the boots. Heavy forearms and boots right between the shoulder blades, and that was smart. Into the corner. Got him in the corner. A couple of shoulder tackles, and he's laying him in there. And a fourth one for good measure. Gets him down, he's got the boot up into the uh, 
Referee instituting the five count. Right away into someone's, like right in the rest face, like stay on top of your opponent. <laughs> Make a bunch of next moves. Well, he's gone to the Todd Bullet School of Wrestling, so there's an equal amount of talking as there is wrestling. Yeah, you, you got a good point there, Chris. Big Jesse now picking him up. Taking him down. I know Mark Merrick looks young, but he's been around the block a few times himself. Yeah, he's uh, not a good idea to waste time. Absolutely correct. So now he's playing the chops. I'm not hearing a, a lot behind him. But as he goes three, duck under by Merrick. Merrick. Oh, Merrick lays in a chop and he's pulling his shirt up. Hitting him with another chop. He might lay him in now. Snap there. Snap holds on. He's going to go for the big kick. There it is, right in the back. Oh, you could hear that one. Absolutely. He's looking to go to low, off the ropes. Oh, drop kick right in the mush. That might be it here. One, two. Kick out by two. I guess now he's got to. That was a kick out of two on the button. Absolutely. Oh, they're raking the eyes. The ref getting back up there. Two, uh, two count. I tell you, I, I believe he's choking Mark Merritt now. Referee Carson using that five count. I, I know I sound like a broken record, but taking the time of the crowd when your opponent is in this situation, I don't know if it's the best strategy. Now Merrick back up to his feet. He's going up. Second rope. Oh, are we gonna see him all the way? Is he going to the top drawer here? And he's walking the ropes right now. He's walking it, he's walking it. Yeah, big. Oh, an elbow. An elbow right into the shoulder blade. Kick up my mark. Boy. That was two and three quarters if it was anything. I mean, that elbow gets into that rotator cup and you experience a dislocation or disconnection. It can really change the tide of this duck under. Clothesline by Close Merrick. Line by Merrick. Another clothesline by Merrick. Kick to the gut. Oh my gosh. That, that was an innovative maneuver, move. I, that's what I would call that, Chris. I haven't seen that before, but he he planted his knees right in his mouth and took him down to the mat with him. Give Mark Merrick. Now, Fireman's carry is up. Mark Merrick's got him up. You know, Todd Bullion is shooting himself. Big DDT. Big Jess. Picking up a victory thanks to his mouthpiece, Todd Bullock. The Misfit Mission Collectibles open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday inside the Malby Flea Market, 421 Malby Avenue East, Winnipeg, Manitoba. If you can't shop in person, you can shop online at www.misfitmission.ca. Use code STARDOM and save 10% now. That's code STARDOM, all in capitals, to save 10% off your order. Oh, Kevin oh, Chevy with the glorious mullet. Oh, to die for. Weighing in at 130 pounds, Malcolm Lovechild! Malcolm Lovechild! 130 pounds soaking wet holding a brick. Absolutely. And let loose shoelaces. Can I get a Hoya? 
Kevy Chevy's got him in the palm of those hands. <laughs> Gas starting there. The early chance that Chevy's gonna kill you. Bring it home. So if you're Malcolm Lovechild, Gibby, what do you do against Heavy Chevy? I, here's what I do. I get out of the ring, I pack my gear, and I go home. Yeah, I, I think you just find your uh, your van and you head south. Yeah. Malcolm Lovechild tying up with Heavy Chevy. Heavy Chevy throwing him off, much like a horse gets rid of a fly. After literally just slotting away, that's how that. He's got desire in his eyes. Here's the deal though, Malcolm Lovechild is a trained professional wrestler. You should not take him lightly. Absolutely not. He's, uh, he signed up to get in there. He knew what he was getting. Kevy Chevy laying out on the top rope showing that Malcolm Lovechild is no challenge thus far. Yeah, you know, showboat he is in his uh, vocabulary, but like you said, you don't want to underestimate. Simple call to level. And there it is. Welcome, love child. I think he got a thumb in the eye there, but the, he had the referee positioned just perfectly. And now, knife edge chop. There's another one. I don't know if this is a good strategy. I just think you're... Piss it off, Kevin oh, Chevy. Oh, Seems like a bad idea. Oh, there, there oh, it is. Oh, oh, oh. Ay, caramba. Oh. I tell you, it's like playing the xylophone in grade four. Yeah. I think it's, uh, I think Kevin Chevy has the advantage at this point. I would say so, Kevin Chevy with the knee and the roll through Ella Ric Flair. Absolutely. Hey, Kevin Chevy, clearly. Getting a chant going, Chevy's going to kill him. Oh, oh, and dumps him on his head. I tell you. Uh, I think he's seeing stars now, Kevin Chevy, and Kevin's just getting the motor running. He's just toying, he's, just he to up. he's toying with him now. Boy, that might, that could be it right there. Oh, and Kevin Chevy's calling for it, I think. Oh, big oh, kick, big to, kick the, to the head. This, this looks like it might be it. Ceremoniously to the floor. Whoa! I, I, I think Kevy Chevy just uh, making a statement. I've been here. There ain't a rodeo I haven't rode in, and if you're gonna be in my rodeo, you better be able to ride. Chevy now. Back in. You know, the last person in the world I'd want to be right now is Malcolm Lovechild. Yeah, I. Uh, I think the love is kind of slipping away from Malcolm here. And now Kevy Chevy in full undeniable control. And the fans here chanting kill. They're 110% behind. This is it. This is the Chevy and Powell drive. Not Daddy Collectibles. Follow us online at notdaddycollectibles.com, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Spotify. We have weekly shows on new comic books, indie wrestling, and we also sell independent comic books.
Clark. Thank you, 
he's taking some time. He's fucking some wind. He, I guess he's the most of my son lost. I've seen him, Bobby. He lost his entire belt. Bobby Schick is in trouble right now.
Mitch Fitness and Collectibles. Open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday inside the Malby Flea Market. 421 Malby Avenue East, Winnipeg, Manitoba. If you can't shop in person, you can shop online at www.misfitmission.ca. Use code STARDOM and save 10% now. That's code STARDOM, all in capitals, to save 10% off your order.
lost now. Burton's and I don't know, Burton was still lost. I think Burton was still uh, recharging his batteries here.
going to stand up because my old knees can't handle that. First and foremost, I want to thank Rob Starter and the Dream Factory for putting on such an amazing event. And raising money for kids, and finding life out of diseases, making their dreams come true. That's what tonight's all about, the fact that I'm giving this award on this night. Well, you know what? That's just amazing. I thank all of you for coming.
psycho banger Jared Rose, believe it or not. I saw I, I, uh, This kind of match lends this chaos. That's where Jaren Rose lives, in chaos. I think he thrives. I, yeah, I think his zip code is in the uh, land of chaos, absolutely. As we whittle down the competitors here, I think we're down to uh, a dozen or so. There he goes, that's uh, me. And Amir, Spanky, Ox Anderson's still in there. <coughs> Oh! 